Thought you got away with it, motherfucker? You tried to kill our mother. Dude, what the fuck are they talking about? Tell them what happened. You almost killed me, too. Dude, what the fuck, Effie? I'm so sorry, Tariq. What the fuck did you do? I told Noma that you were threatening her daughter. We're working together, and I have a future with her, so couldn't let that happen. What do we do now? I mean, I don't know. I think we just started a fucking war, though. What's good, YouTube world? What's up with y'all? It's your boy DC, and today I'm here with the new video, The Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4. And based off the title alone, y'all already know what I'm about to talk about. I'm about to be going over some exclusive images of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4 and let y'all know how I feel about it overall. They finally gave us a first look at Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4, and I cannot wait to see what's next for this new upcoming season of Power Book 2 Ghost, bro. I am excited about this. I'm also mad that this is the final season of Power Book 2 Ghost, so. It is what it is, man. All good things must come to an end. But based off of what I'm seeing alone in these photos right here, it's looking like season four is about to be the best season overall out of all the seasons in Power Book 2 Ghost, bro. Like, I feel like season four really about to be the best season, bro. It's looking like shit about to hit the fan in season four. I cannot wait to see what's next for this next upcoming season of Power Book 2 Ghost, bro. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button and turn on your post bell notification button to get notified every time I upload a video. If you like the videos that I upload and create. But other than that, man, I ain't got too much else to say. I'm about to get into these photos and break them down for y'all. Let y'all know how I feel about it overall because we got a lot of stuff to talk about today. Now, in this first picture right here, we see your boy Tariq and Brayden having a conversation with each other. It looked like they're having an argument if we being honest about it. It seemed like Tariq trying to calm Brayden down, but it seemed like Brayden trying to get active. And I hope your boy Brayden get active in season four because now it's not the time for Tariq and Brayden to be on defense. I want to see them get on offense in season four and I'm expecting them to come out the gate swinging in the first episode. And based off this photo alone, bro, I can tell this photo is from the first episode. I don't know if y'all remember this or not, but I mentioned that your boy Tariq was going to catch a body in the first episode in Power Book 2 Ghost in that season 4 teaser video that I did a while back. I mentioned in that video that if you notice this behind the scenes photo of episode 1 with your boy Marco Rainey Jr. and Gianni Palo, you could see your boy Tariq is wearing the same beanie and the same jacket you see in the image above with him shooting at somebody from the season 4 teaser. So I'm definitely expecting them to start off the first episode with a banger since your boy Tariq St. Patrick will be catching a body in the first episode. And hopefully we see your boy Brandon catch a body in the first episode as well because it's looking like he's trying to get active based off this photo right here. Now, in this next picture right here, we see Tariq and Brayden having a conversation with Davis McLean, and I'm expecting Davis McLean to extort Tariq and Brayden for some money. Because according to the season four synopsis, your boy Davis McLean is getting suspended, and he's pinning his barment. And with him being suspended, he's going to be embracing his criminal side, and he's going to be playing both sides of the field when it comes to this war between Tariq and Brayden and the Tejadas and Noma. Because with him being unemployed, he's going to need to keep the cash flow going to pay a law associate that's going to be helping him out by the name of Perla Tanaka, who is played by Stephanie Shepard, and she works for Davis McLean at his law firm, and she's going to be trying to help your boy Davis McLean out by getting these charges against him drop. So Davis gonna need all the money he could get in order to pay this law associate because I'm pretty sure she ain't doing this shit for free. Which makes me to believe in this scene that we seen in the season 4 teaser where we seen Tariq and Brayden giving a bag of money to somebody. This person that they're giving this bag of money to is Davis McLean and I would not be surprised that they're paying Davis McLean to keep them hidden away from the Tejadas and Noma. Because in this photo right here, we see your boy Davis McLean pointing his gun at somebody. It's looking like somebody is coming into his house tripping. And shout out to my boy Detroit Kings 313 because he pointed this out for me. But the person that Davis is pointing his strap at is OB and Noma. I feel like this is the same scene right here where we see Obi and Noma. We see your boy Obi pointing the strap at somebody. And I believe they at Davis McLean house in this scene right here. So shout out to my boy Detroit for informing me about this because I did not think of this at all. And I would not be surprised if Noma and Obi is there looking for Tariq and Brayden. With Noma daughter coming into the mix, bro, I feel like she's going to be trying to figure out a way to take out Tariq before he find her daughter. Because I'm pretty sure Tariq and Brayden go find Noma daughter before season four is over with. And don't be surprised if Obi or Effie tell Tariq and Brayden about Noma daughter whereabouts. Because we all know in the season three finale of Book Two Ghosts, your boy Tariq helped Obi family get their green card so they could come to America. And with Tariq doing this, I feel like he might be able to create an ally with Obi. And I feel like your boy Obi might tell Tariq about no more daughter whereabouts or it could be Effie because a lot of people feel like Tariq and Effie is going to work with each other again in season four and shit I feel the same way with y'all bro I feel like Tariq might let Effie come back around again and I just hope he don't let Effie come around bro I'm tired of seeing Tariq and Effie linking up with each other like bro they need to dead that storyline already it's either Tariq gonna kill Effie or he gonna marry her which one is gonna be I hope he don't marry her because not like that she let Kane hit bro and shit 
Kane, your biggest op. So you got to kill it when it's all said and done. But while I'm speaking of Effie and Kane, in this next photo right here, we see Effie and Kane as well as Anya and Noma. And we see Anya and Noma having a conversation with each other. And it looks like Anya is pissed off about something. And look here, bro. I would not be surprised if we see a mother-daughter fighting this scene right here. Because it looks like your girl Anya ain't going for none of Noma's bullshit. I'm pretty sure Noma gonna be lying to her daughter about the stuff that she's doing. Because according to the season four synopsis, your girl Anya does not have a clue about where her mom is involved in. And with Noma daughter being on Tariq and Brayden's radar, I would not be surprised if we see Anya and Tariq leak up together in season four, bro. I'm expecting that to happen. And if that do happen, bro, I wouldn't be surprised if Tariq start telling it all and tell Anya everything about Noma and the stuff that she got going on. In this photo right here, we see the Tejadas. We see your boy Drew, Kane, and Diana. It's looking like they at a hospital, most likely visiting Monet. And I'm pretty sure this is in episode one because Drew and Diana have on the same outfit that they had on in the season three finale when they was at the warehouse lying on Tariq's name saying that Tariq was the one that tried to take out their mama which was bullshit and like I said earlier in the video I hope Tariq spoke each and every last one of these motherfuckers in the Tejada family bro they gotta go now in this next photo right here we see a new character that's coming into the mix by the name of Jeanette Stewart who is played by Golden Brooks I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have seen her on Girlfriends and according to her character description this is Monet's cousin, and I believe this is the same cousin that was taking care of Zeke that Monet mentioned back in season two of episode nine when she was having a conversation with Zeke about the stuff that her and Mecca was going through when they was younger and the reason into why she let Zeke grow up with her cousin. And I believe this is the same cousin that Monet was talking about. I'm not too sure. I got to go back and rewatch season two of Power Book 2 Ghost, but I believe this is the cousin that she was talking about. Now, in this next photo right here, we see your boy Tariq and Brayden at Stansfield, and this photo pissed me the fuck off. Like, why the fuck is Tariq and Brayden at Stansfield, bro? Like, please make this shit make sense to me, bro. Like, they in the middle of a war. Everybody know where to find them at when it comes to all their enemies. Effie go there. Diana go there. Kane always popping up there here and there. As well as Drew, your boy Drew be popping up at Stansfield too. Like, I don't understand why Tariq and Brayden is back at Stansfield when they in the middle of a war. Like, especially Tariq, because Tariq was only going to school to inherit his father's trust. And with him losing his father's trust in that Ponzi scheme at Western Holdings, he ain't really got no reason to go back to school. Unless it's something that we have yet to see, because we did see your boy Tariq at Club Truth in the season four teaser that they released. So... He might have got his trust fund back. Who knows? But I don't feel like him and Brady should be at Stansfield. Hopefully, that's the reason why Tariq is at Stansfield, because he was able to get his trust fund back. And you know what I'm saying? He got to go back to school in order to inherit his trust. That would make more sense to me. Now, as a Braden, I don't understand what the hell he back at Stansfield for. Like, nigga, you got kicked out for selling drugs. Well, wait, let me take that back. His daddy pulled them out of Stansfield to work at the family's heads for him, which is now ruined thanks to their Uncle Lucas because of that Ponzi scheme that he had going on. So I'm pretty sure your boy Brandon dad probably got Brandon enrolled back into Stansfield because shit, the Western name holds way that Stansfield. I believe they built the Stansfield pool or the Stansfield library. I'm not too sure. I got to go back and rewatch seasons one through three. So expect to see your boy to get Brandon back in the classrooms once again. Hopefully they enemies don't pull up on them and start shooting at him while they at Stansfield because it could happen. It's a TV show at the end of the day. Now, in this next picture right here, we see some new castmates performing. We see your boy Young Blue. Your boy Young Blue will be joining Power Book 2 Ghost Season 4, and he will be playing the role of Stokey. And he's going to be a part of a popular hip-hop group at Stansfield, as well as your girl Ellie. We see Ellie in the middle right here, who is played by Talia Robinson. She will be the lead singer of this hip-hop group. And she's also going to be Brandon's new love interest in Season 4. So I can't wait to see what's next for your girl Ellie. I can't wait to see what's next for this new hip-hop group that's about to be going on at Stansfield. Feel. Hopefully your boy Celine don't bring his corny ass up on the stage afterwards and start performing a poem from Diana like he did last season in season three. And yes, this nigga Celine will be in season four. The actor who plays Celine confirmed this in an interview that he did a while back. He let it be known that he was filming season four of Book Two Ghosts in that interview. So expect to see your boy Celine pop up in season four. Now in this last and final photo right here, we see your boy Michael Ely, aka Don Carter. And know me and this nigga is not related. I'm gonna let that be known right now before we get into the season. We not related. Just because we got the same last name don't mean shit. I ain't related to Lil Wayne and me and that nigga got the same last name. But anyways, we see your boy Don Carter. It's looking like he had a drug bust. We see somebody getting arrested. We can't see who the person is that's getting arrested, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see their face in the first episode. And I'm pretty sure we're going to meet some of the people that's working with your boy Don Carter on his drug task force as well in episode one. Because we will be getting introduced to two new detectives in season four that's going to be working with Detective Carter on his drug task force. And the two detectives that will be working with Don Carter on his drug task force is Nico Cal who is played by Aaron Dean Ensberg and Detective Felicia Lewis who is played by Allison Luff and with new law enforcement officers coming into the mix I would not be surprised if we see a law enforcement officer in DEA get knocked off aka your girl Blanca or Junior Valdez which is Angela's nephew 
or Jenny Sullivan. Who knows, bro? We might see one of them get knocked off this season, especially with them introducing new law enforcement into the mix, bro. I would not be surprised if we see somebody from law enforcement get dropped off this season. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. Do y'all feel like we're going to see somebody from law enforcement get dropped off this season? Or do y'all feel like law enforcement is going to get a win? I think law enforcement will get a win before season four is over. I feel like somebody in Tariq organization go get arrested. I don't know if it's going to be Monet or Davis. I really feel like one of those two is going to get arrested. I'm leaning more towards Monet more than anything because Monet been racking up bodies since season one. And I wouldn't be surprised if your boy Don Carter play a role in Monet's downfall because from an exclusive image that was released last year in the summertime, giving us a first look at season four of book two ghosts. And based off this scene right here, you could tell that Monet and Don Carter is going to have a connection with each other in season four. I wouldn't be surprised if he set Monet up to go to jail this season, bro. You never know how this shit could play out. It's the final season at the end of the day when it's all said and done. I'm expecting to see a lot of twists and turns occur in season four. And I cannot wait to see what's next for Power Book 2 Ghost, man. I am so happy that they finally gave us something in regards to season four, bro. Like, damn, they gave us that little teaser and just haven't gave us nothing since then like bro i thought they was gonna give us some images when they put out that teaser but they decided to give us some images now it is what it is i'm happy that we finally got something in regards to power book 2 ghosts but other than that man i ain't really got too much to say if you like this video make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button turn on your post bell notification button to get notified every time i upload a video new content is on the way new videos is coming sooner than you think stay on the lookout for that Thank you to everybody that's been supporting me. Thank you to everybody who's been liking my videos, commenting on the videos, sharing them everywhere. Just thank you for everybody that's been supporting your boy. Words cannot explain how much I'm grateful for y'all. Thank you so much, bro. Until then, y'all, I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. Y'all take care. Y'all be safe and God bless.